Hello everybody, my name is Roy Boy, and welcome back to the 11th episode of Roy Boy Tries to Survive. Alrighty, so in this episode we only have one purpose, or one uh, goal. I was walking back and forth doing some trading with my villagers and I found four eggs. And let's see if we can get ourselves a uh, pet, and that is the only goal for this episode. Oh, we got one! Yes! We got one, alright. Uh, let's see, so we got we gotta give this guy a name. Uh, so let's get a new name tag. Let's see, where is this guy? Where is he? Here he is. Alright, what does he look like? Um, James, maybe? No, I don't think so. Um, Carlton? No, but closer. Uh, Harry? Harry. Harrelton. Harrelton? Harrelton. Harrelton. I think Harry Harrelton. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this guy named. Alright, so Harry Harrelton. Hey, hey, wait, wait, stop running away from me. There we go. Harry Harrelton. Oh, isn't he so cute? He's so cute. Alright, well, let's hope this guy sticks around and doesn't uh, end up uh, getting eaten by a zombie or something. Alright, well, I guess we finished the purpose for this episode, so I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, no, I think that might be a bit too short. All right, so let's see. Hmm, what will we do in this episode? Uh, oh, what is this? A sign? Chest of what to do? Uh, okay, let's see what's in here. It appears something to do with cartography. All right, well, I guess this chest appeared here by my bed, and it's telling me that we need to do some cartography. I mean, that makes sense. We haven't really explored much of this area. We know that there's a jungle there. I know that there's a dark oak forest somewhere over down there. And there's some spruce over there. There's also some spruce there. But I really don't know the area very well. So let's make a map in the morning and do some uh, exploring. All right, so we'll place this down in our little work area out here. And uh, so let's start working. So we'll get this, our empty map out. And I think we'll just make it right here. So we just click like that. And there we go. And as you can see, we can see our little house there. And um, well, it looks like it's kind of showing that area. So maybe that'll be how we'll explore. Oh, well, obviously the sun's setting just as I'm starting to uh, sunlight. All right. So we got this uh, map. And now with the cartography table, we can take these into our inventory, all these paper. And uh, I think if we just plop that there, we can make this bigger a little bit. And if we take a look at that, then, yeah, so it looks like we're going to go explore in that direction. Actually, I don't really want to explore that direction. So one second, I think the direction I kind of want to explore, ignore the creeper hole, is that way. Let's see how, as we grow this map, how it, um, how it looks. So let's grow this map a few more times. Let's see, now what is it doing? Okay, so now it looks like that way is actually, oh, so it looks like it's pretty good. Okay, let's pop this in one more time because we want to explore quite a lot in this episode. And I think, um, I don't know if we can go any bigger than that, but I don't think I want to anyway. Let's see, can we? We can. Um, we'll see, later, maybe. Okay, so now um, we're going to go head off that way and see what we can find. Uh, but before we do that, we need to prepare a little way so we know exactly where our house is. So the way we're going to do that is we're actually going to make, I believe, we're going we're gonna need to make a banner. And can we dye banners like this? No, I guess we need to make it out of lime wool. So I don't have enough to make that. So we'll just make a white banner for now uh, because I can't be bothered. Okay, and what we're going to do with this banner is we're going to go in here. We're going to go to this. We're going to name this banner. Um, we're going to name this place Farmhouse. Now we're going to take this banner. And we're going to put this uh, right here next to the entrance. Now we're going to grab the map. And I believe if you take the map and you just click on this. Now on the map. Wait, maybe I did the wrong click. There we go. Now on the map. Uh, here, wait. Let me get the shield out of my hand so that you can see we have a little marker there that says farmhouse and now no matter where we go there it will be farmhouse on the map okie dokie so now um, let's grab a bit more food because I don't have too much of that uh, we have 
some stuff. We'll get rid of those. And here's my food chest. We'll get some spare food. Um, let's pop some of this stuff back in there. Let's put our shield. Well, I guess now let's put the map in our offhand. Uh, we'll leave our shield behind for now. We need some torches and a bed. We'll take some torches and a bed and we'll head off exploring. And now, with our torches, our sleeping bag, our food, and one thing I forgot to mention, we should bring ten obsidian and a flint and steel so uh, we can always make our way back faster with the nether portal, and so if we find anything interesting, we can make a quick link to there. Uh, we brought some buckets just f just in case. Better to have them than to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them. And, uh, yeah, uh, and we got our map, and I think we're ready to go. Okie dokie, so... Uh, we're gonna just head off straight this way and uh, I'll be back well we'll see I'm gonna go do some exploring out this way see what we can find alrighty so I didn't go very far as you can see I'm right now in this spruce uh, forest here that's right on the other side of that big um, of that big plains biome that's right in front of our house and as I was walking through this spruce forest what I found was a path that can only mean one thing that there should be a village here somewhere oh and it's right here right in front of me okay so let's hop on down and try not to take any damage and explore this this is some good luck um, we could definitely use this we just started uh, with these villagers now if we have a bigger supply of them let's get this cow because um, well yeah we need to kill cows uh, for some reason uh, oh and potatoes uh, that is good, because we... Let's use uh, Fortune, I think, so we can get a bit more. I don't know if that actually works, but who cares? I have Mending now, so I don't care. Um, yeah, so we got some potatoes, uh, which is great, uh, because we don't really have an another way of getting potatoes, and I would like to grow some of those. Um, okay, let's hop on down and go around over here. Uh, yeah, so what I was saying is I would like to get some of these guys, because... We need to start building up our own village back at back at our house. Ooh, and the bell. We really need one of these also for our village. So, sorry guys, I'm going to have to take your bell. Um, do any of you have professions? It doesn't look like any of them have professions. All right, well, I didn't really come here to do much trading right now and much looting. There's not much to be done also. Uh, but the good thing is that we have a supply of villagers, and then we can maybe set, set up a villager breeder in one of these episodes. All right, well, I don't have time to collect all the stuff to do trades with you. Uh, but, yeah, so that's really great, and it's pretty close to our house. Uh, now, the thing is I forgot to take it banners with me, so I don't have any way of marking this. But I know about where it is. I just have to go straight from my house. So um, straight across the field and then continue. All right, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to head off, and I'm going to fill up this map. Now, as I was out here, I also remembered one other thing that might be a bit of a problem. I think if I make this map any bigger, anything that I discover will be lost. So uh, let's cross our fingers that that's not the case. And if it is the case, then, well, that's a bummer. All right. Well, we haven't even left side of the village. And I got to an ocean, which is great because I really wanted to find an ocean. That was one of the biggest things I wanted to find in this episode was a village. Check. And an ocean right here because in the ocean we can find, um, well, there's a lot of good things in the ocean like... Uh, Right here, a fish wreck, uh, blah, blah, fish wreck. a uh, boat wreck, which is another thing I was looking for. So maybe we can make a conduit or something uh, uh, ba from the treasure chests. Not from here, but we might find a map in here, a treasure map. So let's, uh, that was kind of a jumble of words. Let's get in here. Let's grab our tools. And um, there's an air pocket right here. Let's see, there should be a chest right there. There we go. Okay, so we got a burnt treasure map. We got some paper. And a book. We'll take all that. And let's go explore this. But first, we need to go to the other chest. Some potatoes. Some paper. Some bamboo. And that we don't need. Okay. I believe there's only supposed to be two in here. So we'll leave this for now. Wait, is there one back here? Let's quickly check. I don't really know how this works. I haven't played survival in, well, a long time, as I keep mentioning. Alright, so let's check out this map. So, if we're there on the map, let's see. When we move, we should see ourselves moving in some direction. Okay. Meaning that 
the map is like this, I believe. So I think we need to go that way. Let me see. I'll, I'll come back to you. So I was right. And just in case someone didn't understand what I was talking about with the map, if I crouch here and I walk, you can see that my little marker is moving on the side of the uh, map. So once I figure out what direction it's moving, I can figure out what direction the map is. And now it shows me what side of the map I'm on. Because now when I'm moving forwards, I go up on the map. And when I move backwards, I go down on the map. Meaning I'm facing the way that the map's facing right now. Meaning that, and because I'm on that side of the map, I have to go that way to get to, um, to, get to where the treasure is. So let me quickly go to sleep in my sleeping bag once the sun fully sets. And uh, I'll go get there. We made our way to the spot of the buried treasure, and it's right at the tippy top of the map that we're exploring, so I'm glad that it didn't go out of that. And it should be somewhere over here. Sometimes there's a chance that they spawn in, not covered up. It appears that that is not the case right now. Okay, so I will start uh, digging this area up. Everybody knows this can be a bit of a... Well, everybody who's done this before knows sometimes this is a tedious process, sometimes it's not. And I'm spotting a coral reef over there, which is super sweet. Oh, we can't see it underwater. But right there. Uh, so I might go over and collect some of that to bring back home. Okie dokie. Well, it ended up being a little ways away from the water for some reason. But I have to say, doing this with a efficiency for uh, a shovel, diamond shovel, was much faster than the other time I did this with. I think it was like a stone shovel in uh, my first... Uh, survival uh, let's play which actually was the I think really the only other time I've ever done this uh, so let's see ooh sweet we got five diamonds alright so we got some diamonds we got a bunch of stuff alright let me organize this up see what I'm gonna leave see what I'm gonna take it really pains me to leave things behind because I'm such a hoarder in this game uh, but it looks like we're not gonna have enough room for everything so I'm gonna have to leave some stuff. Alright, so that is what I've decided to leave. Now you might be thinking it's weird to take one piece of kelp, because who needs kelp? But actually, this is because this is the first time I found an ocean, I've actually, I don't have any kelp. So I'm gonna be keeping that kelp and I'm gonna be gathering up a bit more kelp out in the water here. I'm also gonna gather up some of that coral reef, which is gonna mean I'm gonna have to throw away some more stuff. But that kelp, um, yeah, the kelp is gonna be useful uh, for making bubble columns and what have you. Alright, so let's uh, grab a bit more kelp, and uh, then we'll keep exploring. Lastly, the thing I really want now is to find a desert somewhere. Well, no desert, but I found myself knee-deep in a muddy swamp. Now, the two things that I really want to gather from the swamps are these flowers, which are my absolute favorite flowers. Except for the corn flowers now, the new ones. I don't know, I guess there's just something about blue flowers. But, uh, I don't know, these are just the prettiest flowers there are. And some of these will not hurt for some decoration. So I'll grab these, and we'll keep looking for a desert or something. Something interesting. Heaven. I'm in heaven. Oh, I just love these flowers. They're so great, and there's so many of them. Uh, oopsie. It looks like I have fallen down quite a hole. <laughs> Uh, trying to make my way into, well, just around these giant mountains. I fell off of there. Luckily, there was water down here. Uh, but that could have ended up really bad, because I'm possibly the farthest away I could be from home using this map. Uh, okay, so let's make our way. Uh, another one of my favorite flowers. Woohoo! Oh, these flowers, they're just, they look so good. And when you put them in, when you put them around in, like, a nicely textured uh, field or something. It just makes the whole place look so magical with these blue flowers. All right, well, let's do a little progress update. As you can see, I've uh, explored most of the map, almost all of it. Uh, no desert, mostly just swamps and uh, and uh, tiger biomes and snowy places, uh, like snowy mountains. Now, I wish that um, in the maps that the different biomes the grass would be a bit different color on the map too like it's different it's a bit of a different color when you look in the world but why isn't it a different color on the map I think they should change that I think it would one make the maps look better and two it would be easier to navigate um, around with the maps because you know okay well there's that biome there's that biome I don't know just an idea tell me let me know what you think of it Alright, so I think I'll finish up exploring this. And I have to say, this uh, this whole thing would be much easier if I just had an elytra. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe some uh, end busting soon. Beating the ender dragon for the first time legitimately. 
What do you think? I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned and find out. <laughs> All right. So I'll finish up exploring this map, and then uh, we'll see how much time we have left. And see what else we can do. All righty. So the map is completely explored. We have discovered everything that this map has to offer. Um, I have to say, I think it was a success. Uh, though we didn't find a desert. Uh, but next time, or maybe between episodes, I think that the warm uh, biomes like to stick together. And I'm pretty sure a jungle is a warm biome. So I'll head out that way. See if I can find a desert that way. Because over there, and all the places we explored, it was pretty cold and wet. And a desert is definitely not cold and wet. Alright, so I looked at the time, and it looks like maybe we have a tiny bit more time. Uh, so I think what I'm going to be doing in this tiny bit more time, um, I'm going to head out to the village, and I'll set up another portal connection to the village, so we can start to bring um, some villagers over here, and maybe that'll give our uh, uh, chest of what to do some ideas for the next episode. We'll see. Alright, and I really hope that the chest of what to do tells us to go to the end soon because um, I would like to have some elytra. All right, so I'll head over there. I'll connect up the um, nether portals, and I'll be back once uh, we start getting that done. Set up the end portal with what, with, blah, with what is hopefully a good strategic place for it. Uh, it's kind of at the lower part of the village where there is a few houses here, mostly just for getting boats into it. That's what I was really caring about. I made a few walkways like this across the... Um, the path blocks to make sure that I can get a boat in there because a boat I believe unless it's uh, been changed can't even go up that little bit um, so yeah I don't know if it's been changed but I'd rather not um, uh, get stuck on a path block with a villager because these guys are annoying so now let's see uh, how to link this place up bummer we ended up over here I should have taken the coordinates alright so I'll be back in a second to uh, well, let's see. Let's fix this up. Another thing I'll do while I'm here at the village is take a purple bed because purple is, well, my favorite color and I really wanted to get a purple bed and I wasn't quite sure how, so I'll take advantage of the fact that this village has purple beds. Alrighty, so I got the coordinates of where this portal is and I divided that by 8, which is what you're supposed to do because the overworld is actually... Um, Every eight blocks you walk in the overworld, uh, I mean, every one block you walk in the, wait, how does it go? Yeah, eight blocks in the overworld is one block in the nether. So that's why the nether transportation is much faster um, than land transportation. Did I see a creeper? Yes, I did. Okay, uh, we'll get out of here soon. Okay, so I got the coordinates, and I divided them by eight, making the Y coordinate about negative 52, and the Z coordinate about negative 95. So now, I'm going to grab some buckets, and get some more obsidian, and start, um, start doing that. So I'll get, I'll get some, uh, I'll get 10 obsidian, go to those coordinates, and make ourselves a portal. Alrighty, I built the portal, I believe, where I'm supposed to go. Let's see, we go through the portal, once it loads in, yes, we are in the village. Alright, that did take a few tries. It looks not now like it was first try, but I actually went the wrong way. I built it at uh, positive 95, <laughs> so then I had to come back and rebuild it. Also, I all of a sudden noticed, I don't know if this is because I'm I'm playing in the snapshots, like every every new snapshot that comes out, I've been playing in it, so I'm like in 12, something 12AW, I don't know what it means. Uh, but suddenly the nether looks darker. Hmm, interesting. Um, yeah, as you can see, I had a bit of a guest fight over here, almost blew up my portal, and then I ran out over here to fight him, and forgot that I was on a one block pillar over here, almost dropped me into some lava, would have lost all my stuff, uh, good thing that didn't happen, okay, now let's, uh, head on back home, and I think, oh, no, we don't have our way up, alright, listen, guys, I think that's it for today, um, I had a lot of fun, and I hope there we go. I hope you guys did too. So, um... Whoa. Okay. There we go. That was a bit bumpy. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, this was a very fun episode. See you later. Bye.